Good morning, teachers, students, and families, and welcome to this week's grade prep to three online assembly. I hope you have had a fantastic week in your second week back in term three. My name is Emma from Sixth Street, and I'm a house captain for Bradman. My name is Manu from Sixth H, and I am a house cap house vice captain from Bradman. Hi, my name is Leon, and I am from Sixth H. I am a vice house captain for Bradman. We acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we stand today and recognize their continuing connection to land, waters and culture. We pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. Please stand for the national anthem. with a smile, Prep M, Akeisha for making a beautiful coffee shop and working with money, Prep N, Archer for his improvements with writing and effort at school, Prep O, Ar Arham for excellent videos showing his learning, Prep P, Kustia for doing an excellent job with Reading your Sunshine Online books. You're amazing. Prep R, April for entering the remote learning period with a massive smile and a can-do attitude. Well done, April. 1A, all of the wonderful students in 1A for doing a fantastic job and having our successful Google Meet. 1B, a mass for always trying her best and attempting every task she is given. 1H, Mindu, for outstanding work in integrated. Well done, Mindu. Uh, 1K, Kabir, for always putting effort into his online tasks and maintaining a positive attitude throughout remote learning. From 2A, Daya, for her amazing efforts and with reading and recording her reading on Sunshine Online. Well done. From 2D, Blake for submitting outstanding work. From 2M, Zach for his excellent work during remote learning. From 2P, Sandra for always handing in beautiful presented work. She, she reads the assignments correctly and completes all tasks assigned for her. From 3B, Ali for working hard on all tasks and being a supportive friend. From 3L, 
Ava for using clues and her prior knowledge to make an inference. Well done, Ava. From 3-0, Enyu for an, for an excellent effort with her math problem solving task. From 3-R, Chi Chang for outstanding reading with Miss Randall and Mrs. Collingwood. Now I would like to present the specialist awards for week two. In computers, Dylan from 2D for his lovely smile and great work in Scratch Junior. For EAT, Tanish for, from 2A for doing fabulous work on comprehension activities. Here is a sample of Dylan's fantastic work for this week, which we will be following by some more amazing artwork titled CGPS Rainbow Trail. I hope you enjoy it. This is Emptage, this is my race. Well, I've come to tell you, so you're forewarned That it ain't much fun to be caught in the storm There's lightning and thunder and wind you can bet Not to mention the rain that makes you wet But don't you worry, don't you sigh Cause when it's all over and you look in the sky There's a wonder of nature and it's there for show It's a beautiful thing and it's called a rainbow Let's rap Do the rainbow rap Give your hands a clap Do the rainbow rap well, there's yellow and pink and blue and green, orange and violet and some in between. First it slopes up and then it slopes down. You can see a rainbow for miles around. In Australia or in Japan, by the sea or on the land. You might see one in the country or down your street. Everybody's dancing to the rainbow beat. Let's rap. Do the rainbow rap. Give your hands a clap. Do the rainbow rap. Well, there's a pot of gold waiting on the other side. If you hurry along, you can go for a ride. Grab your sister, grab your brother. You can even bring your father and your mother. So everybody stand up, jump up high. Reach your arms out to the sky. Stamp your feet on the ground. Now clap your hands and turn around. Let's rap. Do the rainbow rap. Give your hands a clap. Do the rainbow rap. Let's rap. Do the rainbow rap. Don't be a sap. Do the rainbow rap. Uh -huh. Do the rainbow rap. 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 Well done to all those students. It is so great to see you working so well during this remote learning period. As you know, we are the captains of Bradman. Our house is named after a famous Australian named Sir Donald Bradman, who is the greatest cricketer that have ever lived. We are going to share a picture storybook about this great man.
Don Bradman lived for cricket. As a boy, he practiced bat batting every day in his backyard. He used a golf ball and a cricket stump for a bat. The tiny ball flicked through the air. It struck the curved base of the water tank and bounced back, ready for him to hit. Again, and again, and again. When he was 12, Don travelled to Sydney with his father to watch Australia play England in the Ashes. Don's heart leapt when he saw the lush green surface of the, of the Sydney cricket ground. He studied the players every move and made a vow. One day, he too would play on that ground. Don spent every weekend keeping score for the local Browls men team. One time, the team needed an extra player, so 13-year-old Don picked up the full-size bat. Although he was small, Don had keen eyes and quick feet. He tightened his grip as the ball whizzed towards him. Don scored 37 not out. It was, a, it, was a, it was an exciting moment, but soon he had to return to keeping score. At 14, Don left school to begin working full time. He could no longer play with the school cricket team and he was still too young to play for the local men's club. So Don devoted himself to tennis instead and won the Brawl under 16's championship. It seemed that Don Bradman was on his way to a stellar career in a different sport. Two years later, Don was finally old enough to join the local cricket club. One hot January afternoon, he made 234 not out in, in less than three hours. His powerful shots sent balls flying into nearby streets. His love for cricket was sparked again, and he captured the attention of the press as far away as Sydney. At last time was on Don's side. The New South Wales Cricket Association heard about his impressive batting after playing a trial match at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Don's childhood vow was fulfilled, but it was just the start of, a bigger thing, of bigger things. Don was invited to join the first grade St. George team in Sydney. The following year, Don squeezed into the New South Wales team in the National Sheffield Shield competition. Although he was the reserve of or 12th man, one of his teammates wasn't well, so Don was called on as the replacement. He made a dazzling debut by scoring a century. All across Australia, people started to talk about the boy from Borwell. The next summer, Don was selected to play in the 1928 to 29 Ashes series. For many, the Ashes was the, mo was the most important cricket of the year. Australia was a young country with strong connections and a fierce rivalry with England. Cricket was one way Australians could show the English that they were independent and competitive. But John's first Ashes test was tough. Australia was beaten and went on to, on to lose the series. It was a terrible disappointment, but Don kept striving. In January 1930, he hit 452 not out for the for New South Wales against Queensland in 415 minutes. It was a new world record and securing him a place on the Australian side, which was soon leaving for a tour of England. Playing on an international tour was an amazing opportunity. But there was little money to be earned playing cricket and travel was expensive. The Barrel Township, full of pride for the self-taught country boy, held special events to help fund Don's trip. It was a long voyage to England and the tour would last almost five months. For Don, it was the chance to 
win the Ashes for Australia and to see places he had only heard about. By the time the tour began, the Great Depression was starting to bite in Australia. Money was tight, jobs were hard to find, and good news was desperately needed. People found comfort in sport, especially in cricket. All across the country, people eagerly listened to commentators recounting the Australian tour on the radio and sang along to the popular new song, Our Don Bradman. Don's big scores were even announced over public transport address systems. People in the streets clapped and cheered. They forgot their troubles when Don was when Don Bradman battled. England won the first test of the Ashes. Australia won the second. During the third test, excited chatter began to build. Don's high scores and modest manner were winning him fans even among the English crowd. With a half grin, Don fiercely swung the bat. He smacked the ball over the boundary for six. Another ball shot through the gap, leaving the fielders shaking their heads. Don continued to send balls racing to every part of the field. He scored a century before lunch. People were amazed at Don's perfect batting. No one had ever played like this. Don slogged the ball faster and further. With, fl- with flair, he scored another century between lunch and tea. Don finished the day on 309 runs, not out. He had scored the most runs in a single day of first-class cricket. The English crowd loved it. Back home, Don Bradman's new world record made all Australians feel like winners. In an area of hardship and uncertainty, Don Bradman, the boy from the bush, had helped Australia be its oldest and strongest rival. He became a national hero. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed today's assembly. Please join the Chisholm House captains next again next week for our online assembly. Have a fantastic week.